Hey, Lepavoni people, uh, John Halk here. I just want to share some thoughts about Generation 3 Group Head Water Retention. Uh, these are my thoughts, and uh, I am open to correction or suggestions as you guys watch this. Uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, Generation 3 Group Head here. Um, you can see the porta filter and the lever and everything that you're familiar with. I'm going to open up a quick cross section here of the porta filter and show you the porta filter in a position where the piston is just about ready to uh, let water in from the group from the uh, boiler and fill the brewing chamber here so um, as you uh, might remember we raise and lower the piston here and as soon as it gets to this point then the water can sneak through here and start filling in the brew chamber so if we uh, just kind of think of uh, this is about as far as you can raise the piston before the water from the group head comes out. So let's just kind of put it right here and talk about this volume of water retained in the head. And I'm going to draw that in red here. Um, let me go over to this view and show you what that looks like in um, just isolation. So this is what the water looks like that's retained in the head. Uh, hopefully I don't make you uh, too sick. So um, the volume of that according to uh, this model is uh, 35 and a half, we'll call it 36 milliliters. So 36 milliliters is retained in the head. Um, and so this water, uh, this 36 milliliters of water um, I'll claim is cooler water than uh, water in the boiler. It's been sitting in the group head for a while. Uh, you just raise the uh, piston uh, ready to make your shot. Uh, so much of the cooler water that was already in the piston or already in the group head when the piston was lower is forced out of the siphon, forced down the siphon tube back into the boiler. Um, but uh, there still remains about 36 milliliters of water up here. Um, then once this, uh, uh, once you've raised the piston, letting the water through, um, then let's talk about this volume uh, down here, which is this uh, blue uh, and this green. Um, what I've got down here is where the coffee would be sitting. So let's just pretend the coffee is completely uh, and impermeable and, and we get about 10 milliliters of water here and about 43 milliliters of water here. Let me kind of show that to you. Um, so if we'll go ahead and uh, bring in um, the water down there and this here, um, and we'll go ahead and uh, look at this water in the porta filter, and that is 10 milliliters right there. And if we add uh, this water that uh, is below the piston that gives us uh, 53 milliliters of water there so 53 milliliters of water is uh, in the brewing chamber and when you actually pump the uh, piston it's just this volume here which would be um, the uh, uh, just the water pump here by piston which is uh, 43 milliliters so 43 milliliters here uh, 10 milliliters uh, in the porta filter and we've got 36 uh, milliliters up here of cooler water. So when you raise the uh, piston uh, and you let this water through, um, this first uh, 36 milliliters of water will fill this chamber. And then the remaining uh, water um, uh, would be hot water coming directly from the boiler. So that would be um, seven more milliliters of water, uh, 36 to milliliters of cooler water plus another seven milliliters um, of, uh, um, I'm sorry, another 17 milliliters of uh, uh, hot boiler water uh, would give us a total of 53 milliliters uh, for the, uh, for, for making the shot. And, and so my point really is just that um, uh, no matter what you do, uh, you are going to, um, start your shot in the generation three group head with, um, let's see, I did some calculations here, uh, two thirds of the water, so 36 milliliters, two thirds of your water is gonna be from the retained cooler water and 17 milliliters are from the boiler, so that's one third for a total of 53. So uh, again, in summary, um, 
uh, the, um, the temperature of the brewing chamber, I think, will be made up of two-thirds of the cooler water and one-third of boiler water, which I think is uh, cooler for the extraction, which is better for your coffee. Anyway, uh, those are my ramblings. Uh, feel free to chime in and let me know what you think.